The Smart Duplicate feature in Autodesk Graphic is really powerful and fun to use to create new and interesting shapes or to reuse pieces that you've already made. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use a symbol from the Shapes Libraries. I'm going to grab this Fire icon and just drag and drop it out here. I'll make it slightly bigger and just get it to where I want it before I start my Smart Duplicate process. So starting here, I'll press Command D to create my first duplicate. You can also find the Duplicate command under the Edit drop down menu. Then I'm just going to line it up with my original object and I want to rotate this and repeat it as a pattern to kind of create a symbol or a seal. So I'll hit R on the keyboard and then change my anchor point where it's rotating from to the bottom center. Then I'll rotate it holding shift to about negative 45 degrees. Now I can just use Command D to repeat not only that duplicate, but everything that I've just changed about it. So as I press Command D, you'll see it creates a new duplicate with another negative 45 degree rotation at a new position. And I continue to go all the way around, creating a new interesting shape out of a very basic icon. You can do this with anything in Autodesk Graphic. You can change it by scaling it and duplicating that scale, size, position, etc. So instead of rotating, let me go back here. If I press Command D, and that doesn't work with copy and paste, you have to create the first duplicate and then make your changes there. So I'll line it up just a little bit lower than this and change its scale. Now pressing Command D while it's still selected will repeat those transformations I just made to that object. As you see, it continues moving down and continues scaling as well. A really powerful feature. I'll just create a rounded rectangle and lower the opacity, and we'll combine a few different transformations to this one so you can really see the effect. So I'll create my first duplicate by pressing Command D. So I'll change its position and any other transformations that I want the rest of these duplicates to follow. So I'll scale it holding Shift to maintain its proportions. I'll rotate it holding Shift to give it a negative 30 degree rotation. And now I'll continue pressing Command D. To create this really interesting effect. This works with images as well as vector objects. Here I have just a PNG image that I dragged and dropped right into Autodesk graphic. With it selected, I can hit Command D to create my first duplicate. Then I'll make a few different transformations that I want the rest of the duplicates I make to follow. So I'll scale it, I'll rotate it a little bit, and maybe reposition it as well. Now with Command D, you'll see that the rest of my duplicates follow all of those transformations. This is great for speeding up your workflow, for creating patterns, or other processes that you might do a lot. For example, creating a grid, or laying out objects on a page precisely, but still very quickly. Here I'll create some concentric circles using the Smart Duplicate feature I just showed you. So here's my first circle. I'll press Command D, then line it up to where I want to start the rest of the duplicates. Press S to scale it. Holding Shift, I'll constrain its proportions. And you see that using this scale also scales the stroke. While it's still selected, I'll just press Command D. really fast for reproducing those concentric circles without having to do a lot of copy and pasting and making changes to each and every duplicate that you make. Try out the Smart Duplicate feature in Autodesk Graphic and see what you can make. Thanks for watching.